Yeah, hello guys. So, I just came in. Tonight it's about 1 a.m. Uh, I don't know. I got you know everything going around, stuffy nose and stuff. But I'm fine. No flus, no sickness. Just I've been outside for a while, so stuffy nose. But quickly, what I want to show you is the what we call the unique. It's called unique, literally unique setting on the scene. So, so if you're on your scenes, um, I'll show it to you. I'll make it. If you're on your screens, your scenes in the machine, and you have all your patterns, then your different scene one, scene two, scene three, scene four. And while you're doing your editing, you're copying and stuff. You know, you duplicate and copy. But you wanna make scene two, for example, unique. So there's an option. To, there's an option to actually say unique. So when you make that change, it doesn't affect all the other scenes. That's a critical part of these scenes. All right. So I'm just going to show you this while you watch my back here. Um, so this is for example the scenes. Alright, scene one, scene... No, don't, don't worry about the numbering, you can always change this number. It doesn't mean anything. Alright, rename it. The numbering doesn't mean anything. So. But I scene one, I got scene ten here, scene two, scene three. So if I'm playing this music here, all right. So if I'm playing this, I wanna edit, edit scene two, for example. So I wanna make change some pattern, pattern two. I wanna make some change to it. So pretty much what you do, very quick and simple. You go to right click on it. And make it unique. Click on unique. Scene two becomes a unique scene. So, if you copy scene two to scene three, scene three remains the same. About scene two, you can now make your changes on scene two, and it, that will not affect scene one or scene three. You get that? So, if I want to make a change on group A, you know group A. If you copy, if you duplicate group A all the way, it's the same thing. But you know when you break it down into scenes, it's when you're actually trying to do your actual editing and actual sequencing and how do you call it? You're laying out your in a song format, right? Unique is a very important thing because when you click on unique on this scene, see how it's grayed out now? It's grayed out. But if I undo it, let me see undo, and I try to do it again. Uh, I'm not sure if the undo function will work. Yeah, it works. Now, if I undo it, so I have my unique back. So all you do is set unique. Any change you make in this scene too remains the same. All right? So that's about it. I'm just going to um, go quickly through part of this video. And um, I might play something at the end of it. But that's it. So unique scene, when you put your machine in a song format, use the unique scene to make each scene unique so the word unique is actually literal okay and that's part of the editing that's one of the best things I love about a uh, machine alright they did it differently before the new update so this is part of the new update alright cool thank you for watching and cheers to everyone I gotta go to bed you gotta go to bed it's been a late night alright alright guys thank you good night Subscribe.